<laughs> so that's what that's the we, we have to make sure we play. Well, you guys need to come up with another sign. Uh, I've been thinking about that for years because they got people, you know, they got other people. I don't know. Right. Right. No, this is it. No, no, no. They got people. Yeah, they, yeah, they got people. I didn't know that. You watch him in all this movies. I had, he's got swag. What do you 
Well, he does have some, but I had no idea. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Robert De Niro. De Niro. Robert De Niro. Don't get that. But but De Niro is from Cuba. I know she's from Cuba. I'm from Cuba. My people are from Haiti and all that. But um. Don't we do that type of stuff? Yeah. 
or African, you know, African Kenton they Williams. The curses too. Yeah. They they, they're they're the, the most hated in their country. Yeah. They do not they like Egyptians. They are. Yeah. But I thought they were wine. They, under they were mixed with wine. And they in the witch and they heavy in the witchcraft too. It's like it's witchcraft. They heavy in the witchcraft too. Yeah, but I'm not into I stopped that when I came on. I never really been into it. My mother is into that. I'm pretty scared of all this. Not right. anybody but Jesus. All right. Well, thanks. I had no idea. Hell no. I'm doing this. I have all black art in my house. Nothing is white in my house. Nothing. Except for walls. No, they're not white either. They're brown. Oh, okay. Oh, this is not a religion, this is our heritage. We're here, we're Israelites. 
everybody on this side, this is basically who we're teaching you, the proper science. And this is, and, and this also, because y'all on the side, right? Left side to side, right? Pretty sure y'all know what Judy does. Call us an African American. We start with the African American. Yo, you want to sign up here? You yeah. So, all this is for y'all. This, this is also your heritage that the so called white man took from you and made you forget about South Jamaicans. Y'all from the tribe of uh, Benjamin, the West Indians. That's y'all tribe. Now, we were talking about Jesus, how this isn't Jesus. And the, the Bible doesn't even describe Jesus to look like that, right? And this is uh, Revelations 1 and 13. Matter of fact, I'm going to give it, I'm going to start at 1 and 1. Uh, Revelation 1 and 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Right, so he, this is a revealing of who the world called Jesus Christ unto his servant, uh, John. And he's basically about to explain what, what the real Jesus looked like according to the Bible, his, his description. Go ahead. Uh, 1 and 13, it says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, The Son of Man, who the world called Jesus Christ, go ahead. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had a garment clothed down to his foot, just like you see, we got these are ancient garments. So he had the same appearance. Go ahead. And girdle about the paps with the golden girdle. So he had a golden girdle, golden girdle around his, his which, midsection. Which is like a wrestling belt, which is like a warrior's belt to protect your work. Right? It says, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So his hair, his hairs, his head and his hairs was white like wool, meaning. His hair was white in color and woolly in texture. So he had the hair of wool and the color was white. This man right here doesn't have, have white woolly hair. His hair is more stringy. So that doesn't fit the description, the depiction that is uh, given in the record of the Lord. Go ahead. He says, uh, as white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was as a flame of fire because whites of his eyes was always red because he was mixed in the spirit and he was also drinking a lot, a lot of wine. He was angry with all the sins and stuff. Right. He, you know, he drank a lot of wine to deal with it. Right. So the, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. His feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. Now the color of brass is like a, a it's like a, 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 a bronze color, like a key. It's kind of gold. I got, I got one. Like that. Right. Kind of goldish brown, but then you burn it and it gets black. Like it gets dark. Dark. But it has like a gold undertone. That's kind of what that's talking about. So he was a, he was a real dark skinned man with really hair, so that, that basically, you know, exhale out the picture. Just, All right. Just now do it, you know, hopefully, you know, for the camera, you know. That'll be patient. Jake, man. Jake, they couldn't get through the. <laughs> They couldn't even get through this. Yeah, Revelation 1 and 13. Uh, Revelation 1, oh, okay. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Jake is crazy, man. Jake, Jake, most of us said they think we're crazy. Right, they think we're the next one. We are young. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we like the scripture in uh, Corinthians 1 and 4. Yeah, we look like fools. We fools out here for the, for the Lord's sake, for the Howard Shai's sake, but we're wise in your Howard Shai. Right. We may look poor, but we're rich in faith, man. Y'all can't push us off of, off, of, off, of this, off of this word, man. No matter what you think, no matter what your personal beliefs are. You can't push us off of it, man. I don't care how you look at us, how you talk about us, how you point and wag the hand. We don't care about none of that. We're going to call you out for your wrongdoing and show you and tell you how to do it the right way. And, and, and also, hopefully, we're examples doing our very best to be examples of what to do in the right way. That's what this is all about. Whether you hear or forbear, we don't care. Because whoever is listening and watching, it's for them. It ain't for none of y'all. We don't care what none of y'all think. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3. And he said to me, Son of man, I seen thee to the children of Israel 
to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. And the way they transgress today is they still don't want to hear the law of the Lord. Yep. And, and they re they're rebellious because every time we talk to our people, they'll say, ah, okay, uh, let's get out of here. I don't, wanna, I don't really believe that. I think, and I've been taught to know, and they got always something else to say, but they don't recognize that we're reading directly out of the Bible. We're reading it out of the Bible. So when you say, Contrary to what we're reading in the Bible, that's kind of, that's rebelling against the Lord. That's right. Go ahead, bro. And they, whether they will hear, so lucky, for they are imputed children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say also to them, Thus saith the Lord power. And they, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Yeah, now, 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 I, 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 whether they will hear or prepare, now we can tell you a bunch of different stuff about Barack Obama. But whether you hear or prepare, it ain't going to change the truth about Barack Obama. For one, Barack Obama's an African, we're not African. Our people aren't African. The of people are not African. That's number one. Number two, we don't have to worry about what they think about us. Because we're not African. Right. 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 Oh, the Obama phone, hey, and he's talking about me. It was good out there. Obama phone. They're probably tapped. So, I mean, why wouldn't it be? It's the president. He don't want to know what y'all talking about. Well, well, we'll tell you what he did do. This man did get out and said a lot of different things that he never kept. When he first got into office, he said, no more war. And he, took, he said he was going to take them um, out of the uh, take the troops out of the uh, Uyghur lands. Out of the Middle East, he sent them right back to Afghanistan. Yeah. That war been going on for over ten years. Then, then the uh, the, the uh, what's that? The uh, the 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 death. We put this country on today. Let's see what else. You know what? Well, he don't even just sign all type of legislation to take away your rights. If he believes that you're a terrorist or you harboring a terrorist or have any contact with a terrorist, he can lock you up in the concentration camps indefinitely. Well, let me say that then he can take away your citizenship through the Expatriation Act. And, and Bush deemed you a terrorist after 911, and he didn't change that when he came into office either. Every American citizen is now a terrorist according to George W. Bush. And Barack Obama didn't change that. And Barack Obama didn't change that. That ain't Jesus. Oh, okay. Hey, but hey, y'all better wake like up to this, man. He's he, he not the savior of our people, man. He, he's a devil. He won't even give a speech in the hood no more. He won't even give a speech in the hood. Yeah, you know he's really cutting off welfare and all that shit, too. He cut it all off. Unless you have a chance. You have to get a chance. Hey. I don't get welfare. Nah. Sure. I just, I take care of our people. Hey, but if you, if you under any type of government assistance, He's gonna, I'm not make it to no where, he's gonna make it to like where security. if you gotta be dependent on it, you gotta get a chip implanted in your hand or in your forehead in order to receive it. And if you don't, he's gonna revoke it for you. And you know they said that he was making food stamp cards with your kids are going to eat this year. You know how people are going to eat this year? Yeah. Your kids are not going to eat this card. So you can't send your daughter to the store to go get some greenies or yeah, something like that. Yeah, this man is doing everything, man. This man is doing all kinds of things. Yeah, I heard about it. He's just yeah. black, that's why everybody voted for him. He's just dark skinned, he ain't even black. He's just dark skinned. Believe it or not, he's actually related to all the presidents. He's related to George W. Bush and all the other presidents that ever been president. He's from that family. He's from that family. His, wife, his, uh, his mother was, was a part of those, those families. Oh, my goodness. But that's stuff that they don't tell you. That's why we got the horns on him calling him the devil. That's a couple and then we have Amy, my friend. Yeah, Sonia. Yeah, yeah. My uncle's name is Antonio Sanchez. Yeah, these are on your father's side. That's where my kids are named. That's why my kids are named. Like, I gave my kids black names, and that's because I have the latte Antonio. And then my other kids are named Antonio Sanchez. They're not even black. My kids are, except for my daughter. They're from New Orleans, so they're fucking crazy. Okay. That's, that's pretty much what we're talking about. You know, that's pretty much what we're talking about. It's telling our people the truth about the Bible, 
that God is black and he don't look like a white man, that he's here and he's coming back not to be, you know, high-fiving and rainbows and daisies. I hope not, to, the way we doing things. He's coming Shit. back to kill two-thirds of these people right here. It's Sunday, right. Papa. He's going to kill who? Two-thirds of all these Indians? All of these people, his own people. He's going to kill two-thirds of them. Because they're wicked and there's nothing to do about The Indians? The white people poison the Indians up. Don't matter. We about to have white people on slavery. The white man is without question. He's going to get them. They're not only coming for us. He's going to get everybody. I'm not Indian and my kids are Mexican. They're down in Mexico. He's definitely coming to get the uh, Indians. Yeah, the white man is going to put him as our slave. They're going to kill him. 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 I ain't nobody slave. I know the darker you are, the closer you are to the field. So I do pitch a car in and you're light skinned, so you be Right, in Malina, the light-skinned pretty ones is the kitchen, right? Yeah, it's like they, 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 actually, they was more it's like, like the, was actually more like the men. I was telling you, like, stay in the kitchen. <laughs> she was more like the... Kitchen nigga? The guest service. Yeah. The guest she, was, uh, she was flipping pancakes. Flipping pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> if you can come, uh, you can cook. Right. Why not, you know? <laughs> No, but to be serious about this though, we out here to we out here to preach the Bible. Oh, right. The dark yard, the close yard to the field. Well, we teach we teaching the Holy Bible. But I wouldn't be in no field because I'd rather die than to let a white person tell me what the fuck I know. I didn't know if you guys would just. No, we we put, we 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 get the camera just to. But what's your religion then? What is your guys' religion then? It's not a religion. This is a heritage. So what is that though? Our heritage is basically our nationality. This is Israel. our way of life. Yeah. If you into the Bible, then that's basically what it's about. That's what it's all about. I used to go so much when I was a little kid that I stopped when I got grown. I stopped going to church. Because the church is corrupt. Because the church is corrupt. That's why. Oh, not even that. I got to sleep with everybody in the church. So oh, shit. Yeah. That's why you call the church, church a harlot. Well, because people glorify pastors or men like anybody else. So. That's why they call the church a harlot. The Lord called the church a harlot. That's all that's that's all that's 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 really a woman's supposed to be learning from a man. She ain't supposed to learn from anybody else but her husband now. I'm glad of that. And to be technical, we gon' we gon' we gon' hey, just to just to keep it, you know what I'm saying? We mean husband, we mean it first man that you ever laid down with. That's your husband according to the Bible. And you lay down and have sex with a man. That's what all of them say. That's what all of them say. Hey, well guess what? Oh, that's all bad. Y'all consummated y'all. That was your husband. Oh, we did it. Hey, in the eyes of the He really didn't do that. That's your husband. But he really didn't do that. He didn't do it. Nah, because the next person I got with, I was like, ow. Like, I felt that. He didn't do that thing though. But never mind, that's too much. Yeah. All right. Enjoy your game. Have a good night. Thank you for so she was proud about me. Well, so she was proud, I'm telling you, it's, 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 you said that anyway. Bro, it's, it's, that season. Bro, it's, it's that season out here with these regular bitches. You know why? You know why? Because it's the end of the summer. You know, that winter time coming up, right? You know, that, that cut up time. Man, that's crazy, bro. Hey, that, that's crazy. Back to back, bro. Three back to back. Hey, all these women, they all got husbands, but they in our faces, man. See what they say. Woo. Yeah, I always when you tell them you're the first man you ever saw. Shit, I'm not that, not that. Hey, and, 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 and what do they always say? Oh, when I hear stuff like this, I'm just curious. You ain't curious about this. You curious now because you see some men that you like standing up here.